Gordon Hayward recently said in an interview that I would say I'm basically 100%. He said he's far from what he needs to be basketball-wise, but physical shape, he feels like he's 100%. He's ready to handle the game, how it comes. Of course, you know, being in shape and being in basketball shape are two different things. Sometimes you have to play a sport to be in the, the shape that it takes to play for the sport. So to be in football shape, you have to play football. To be in basketball shape, most of the time you have to play basketball. But we're looking at a guy that career averaged 15 points. The last couple of seasons, he averaged between 19 and 21 points. His three-point percentage was getting close to 40% the season before last. You know, of course, he had that gruesome injury we all recall going off for the alley-oop against Cleveland in the season opener. And with Gordon Hayward in the mix, the Boston Celtics have a really high ceiling. And if they keep that group together, they could win championships and they can be a nasty, a nasty dynasty or an Eastern Conference dynasty, so to speak. The reason I say Eastern Conference dynasty is due to the fact that the Golden State Warriors are constituted how they're constituted. And even though with Gordon Hayward, I believe the Celtics could give the um, Golden State Warriors a run for their money, they just don't have anybody that can take over a game like the like the uh, Golden State Warriors. Stuff. So, I mean, and no disrespect to Kyrie, Kyrie can take over moments in the game. 2016 when they won the championship there were a lot of third quarters where he took over like the whole third quarter or like a five minute stretch or it, when he hit the big game winning shot for the Cleveland Cavaliers you know the shot that sealed the whole championship for them like he could take over moments but when you look at taking over an entire game nobody does that like a LeBron James like a like a James Harden like um like Steph Curry, like Kevin Durant, like how they do it the entire span of the entire game. Nobody does that on the Celtics, including Gordon Hayward. But the Celtics with Gordon Hayward, they have a nasty crew. Cause you got Kyrie, you got Gordon Hayward, of course, you got um Jalen Brown, you have Jason Tatum, you have Horford. You have Morris, like, and Jason Tatum already said he would go on the bench, but I wouldn't even do that. I would try, well, I would try to play a small ball lineup where I keep Kyrie, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Hayward, and uh, Horford. Some Somewhere in there, one of the guys have to commit to playing the four. I know it sucks, but I think that will be where they're most successful because they can mix and match their lineup. But them in the finals against the Golden State Warriors would be much more interesting than what we've been getting in the past couple years where LeBron has just been getting smoked. And we saw glimpses of it last year when Stephen Curry had like 50 points and Kyrie had 40-something points where they were just going back and forth, back and forth. And the game never was out of, even when it seemed out of hand, Celtics would make a run. Vice versa, when the Celtics seemed to be like they're going to win the game, Golden State would make a run. And... That would be a bi-coastal series, which everybody loves because, you know, you're woman here in Boston, next minute here in Golden State. So that right there would draw the eye of many across the nation because it's bi-coastal. But expectations for Gordon Hayward going forward, I would just think it's to be healthy and ready to play. Whatever situation they assert him in. Brad Stevens is a great coach. He's going to institute some philosophies to allow the team to succeed and just it's up to Gordon Hayward to buy in. The only problem that I foresee with Brad Stevens' system and, and these group of guys is there's not room for for like freedom to explore yourself as a player. So like for example, Kyrie has already established himself as a premier ball handler. Um the way he finishes at the basket, we've never seen that before. So his virtual skill is gonna come out in waves and drives. But somebody like a Gordon Hayward, they're gonna develop their game, but they have to stay within the confines of the offense. And I think that's like the one drawback because People are already saying that the Celtics are going to come out of the, the East or whatever the case is. But then you're looking at a team like the Toronto Raptors, 
who are just as deep as the Celtics, and they have a better player than anyone on the Celtics and Kawhi Leonard. So if you look at someone like Kawhi Leonard, he'll have a lot more leeway to do certain things and take certain gambles that let's just say Gordon Hayward won't be able to take, won't be able to do. And he's one of those guys, Kawhi Leonard, when I'm when I'm speaking of someone who could take over the entire game. See what I'm saying? You control the game. There's one thing to score a lot of baskets, but there's another thing to control a, a game of basketball. You look at Draymond Green defensively, where he the way he quarters backs the defense and controls the game that way. When you look at LeBron James, he controls the tempo, controls the pace. When you look at look at Kawhi Leonard, who controls the game, rebounding, defense, um, playmaking, stuff like that. That's something that I feel like the Celtics. They have those guys that can do those things, but the way that the system is set up, it's not set up for those guys to actually express themselves. It's only set up for one guy. Like, if you look at when Isaiah Thomas was there, he was their primary scorer, ball handler. So it's set up for him. Now it's set up for Kyrie. So Gordon Hayward might get lost in the sauce or might get lost in the shuffle, depending on how everything comes about and how they choose to re reintroduce them back into their system. Because like when you're saying when you look at somebody like Jason Tatum, he sit he's gonna be sitting on the bench. Jason Tatum averaged thirty about fourteen points a game. Got forty three percent from three and almost fifty percent from two. So you you're gonna take somebody like that, put them on the on the bench, or he's gonna say, I'll take a demotion. That's that's what I mean about the talent like they have talent but is the system gonna allow for them to flourish more and ex express that explore that talent and that's why i would if i was brad stevens play that lineup hayward Kyrie, jenna brown jason tatum and al, al, al horford that lineup is that, that's the lineup you gotta go with because it's gonna allow the young guys to play and you play a small ball lineup and you can match up with any team, including Golden State, because you'll have everybody, Kyrie, Steph, Gordon Hayward, Clay, Draymond Green, uh, Jalen Brown, whatever the case is, Al Horford, Boogie Cousins. So that's the lineup they got to play in order to make this thing successful. I do feel like they can win a championship, uh, but the way Golden State's cohesiveness and they've been together and the Celtics... Man, their 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 fragile nature, their fragile health. Like Kyrie had to have surgeries, involuntary and involuntary. Then you have uh, Gordon Hayward with the ankle, and then you know Marcus um, Smart with the hand, some from time to time with the hand with the shoulder. So we're gonna see how this plays out. But the Eastern Conference is shaping up to be something huge if you really look at it because. Celtics got better. Um, Toronto Raptors got better. People are forgetting about the Washington Wizards. They got Dwight Howard. They got better. And for uh, everything we can say bad about Dwight Howard, he was injured in L.A. He had that torn label or whatever the case is. And then he's just been bouncing around, bouncing around. But if he gets in a system where he can flourish, he could push. He could help push the Wizards past one of, this, one of those teams. So... This is going to be an interesting season. I'm glad that he feels like he's basically, Gordon Hayward feels like he's 100% because we want to see that Celtics team go into dynasty mode or form a unit. You know, like, it's it's hard in, in sports for us to get, like, a unit of players other than LeBron James in the last 10 years making super teams. You know, like, the, the Warriors recently did it where they kept the collection of talent together. We've been seeing how great they are. Now we want to see another collection of talent. It's really hard to see greatness stay together. So we want to see this now, upcoming season, Gordon Hayward on the Celtics with all those guys and see what Brad, Brad Stevens is going to cook up. I'm really interested to see what, it's, what it means. And I, I definitely know it's the Eastern Conference Finals trip. I'm 50% I'm sure it could be a, a um, NBA Finals trip. And I'm about... 30% sure they could win the title. So I give Golden State a 70% chance to win the title if they face them. But they're, they're in for one hell of a ride. Hoops Junction. With Hoops, me too, Like, comment, and subscribe.